Hi everyone, Jonathan Ferguson, Keeper of Firearms and Artillery here with another unusual firearm for you. I'll try and give you a look. You might just be able to tell what the parentage of this is if you look very closely and you really know your guns. Um, or if you've seen this example, and it is this exact example, over on Forgotten Weapons. Because there is a deep dive into this where it Ian takes it apart, looks in detail at how it works, and gives you a lot more detail. So do go and check that out if you'd like. Um, in, this, in this short video, really just want to summarise what the point of this was and why uh, objects like this are significant. Um, so this is really um, another version of what we call last ditch uh, technology. So if you are, if the back's against the wall, proverbially speaking, and the enemy is knocking on the door, you use whatever it is that you have available. And if you've prepared, what you'd have available is equipment to arm your final reserve. Um, so the Home Guard in Britain, and the same in, in uh, New Zealand as well, where this is from. So uh, a, a car mechanic called Philip Charlton designed this from scratch to be able to um, take advantage of old stocks of bolt-action rifles. So old Lee Metford, Lee Enfield, um, magazine Lee Metford, magazine Lee Enfield, rifles that were outdated and, and perhaps getting a bit worn out, but still, kept, still perfectly serviceable and issued to the Home Guard, comprised of older men, young boys too young to join up, perhaps um, guys that were medically unfit to serve on campaign, but might still have to fight if it came to it at home. So the design, logically enough, takes the heart of the Lee Enfield and replaces as much as possible to make it a capable self-loading, or in this case, select fire, automatic, um, well, a machine gun. It's a light machine gun, essentially. It's often called an automatic rifle. The line between the two is pretty blurred, but it has a bipod and it fires on automatic, and it has an extended 20-round magazine, which is an old uh, First World War-style trench magazine, which we used with the bolt actions. And this is um, one of the more successful. There are, there are several conversions of the, the service Lee rifle, um, and the Charlton is the most successful of them. About, uh, I think, 5,000 were produced, ultimately, um, in New Zealand. And there was also another uh, version produced over in Australia by the Electrolux company, which I'll, I'll just briefly grab for you, because we are very fortunate in this collection. Uh, it is one of the best collections in the world. And so we have an example of the Charlton, which is very rare, and we have an example of the Electrolux, which is even rarer. Um, only two of these ever made, as far as we know, and we have one. And it's a lot more obvious what this is or what this was originally. Um, it's a short magazine Lee Enfield, SMLE, converted on, on the same principle to gas operated self loading. So the gas piston, just like the piston in a car engine, sits alongside. Gas is tapped off the barrel, pushes that big piston rod back, and operates the bolt to extract, eject and then a spring returns it forward to chamber the next round ready for firing. And you can make something like this self-loading only, like this one. So this is like a, a uh, almost like a garage build version of an M1 Garand rifle. And the Electrolux that you just saw is a sort of um, semi-improvised version of a Bren gun, really, although it shares no component parts with a Bren. So these were... Um, a bold effort, and several thousand were actually produced, uh, put into storage for the New Zealand Home Guard. Um, thankfully, they were never needed. And if, due to a fire, um, there are unfortunately very few of them left, just a handful around the world of the light machine gun version of the original Charlton. And as I say, because um, this was, there was no real market for this by the time this was finished, only two of those existing. So um, I hope you found that 
of interest. Uh, do check out our other videos and click the like button, the subscribe button and all of that. Um, we do have links in the description if you do feel moved to donate to us, that would be much appreciated. And we also have a, a scheme for members where you can get sort of benefits for um, signing up to that. So thanks and uh, hope to see you again.